Hey there, in this video we'll add the content for the various sections in our HTML document. So here's my CSS presently, screen.css, so I'm just going to switch to index. I'm just going to collapse that edge there. And the first section I'll modify is the header. So I'll click between the header tags, give myself a line, and add my header content, which is from the reading. So I've already uh, entered it into a notepad session. I'm just going to paste it so you don't have to wait for me to type it. And there's our header. Now you'll notice that we have a class logo, so eventually we'll create that class in our CSS document to change the appearance of that anchor. And we also have a class for that div. Again, we'll modify that class to style that div. A reminder to do that in your reading. Make sure you save before you live preview. And there's my header. So the next thing I will do is um, add something to the main section. So if I scroll down here, I've got a section with the class main. So I'll just quickly add some content there as well. So we're going to put this inside of an aside, something like that. I can, uh, there we go, looks good. Now, um, I'm going to populate this with one sentence from Lipsum.com. So I'll just quickly open up my browser, go to Lipsum.com, scroll down to the bottom here, and I want uh, all I need is one paragraph, and I don't need to start with lips each time. And I'll just grab one sentence. Uh, actually, that first sentence is short, so I'll grab a couple. I'll grab three. There we go. And I'm going to do the same thing two more times for all natural and learn more. So that's the content for what's new. I'm going to have two more two more asides within that section, the main section. Again, all natural and learn more. So I'm just going to quickly copy and paste that. Control C or PC. Give myself an extra line and paste it. And I'll just change a little bit of the content there. So this is no longer what's new. This is now all natural. And I'll get some different Latin just so we have some distinction. Notice, by the way, that we have uh, href equals pound symbol. That means it's a link to itself. This is what we use as kind of a placeholder link. So the thing, the uh, the content here appears as a link. We can style it as a link, um, but it doesn't actually leave the page. We can populate that with the actual link later on once we're done prototyping. So I'm just going to quickly grab some more Latin here, paste that in there. Control V is what I would use in real life, but I'm going a long way so I can be more deliberate. And finally, the learn more aside. Let me just get that back in the right spot. Let me just go back a couple. There we go. And this one. 
will be the learn more aside still inside of the main section and paste that there we go and this is the learn more aside and put that in there instead of what I had before so there's some distinction there we go and we can save it and take a look at it so you can see what we have so far so now we have our main section populated with some content let's move on to the story section So I've got a story section here. I'll just open that up a little bit so I can add my content. And we're going to put this inside of an article. I'll just indent that a bit. There we go. And I'm going to add some more Latin there. And it's obvious what needs to be replaced with real content because it's doesn't make any sense to us unless we know that Latin. And let's also add the info section. So there's the story section. Again, it's sort of a, inside of an article. And let's take care of that info section as well and then we'll do the footer and that will take care of us for the content so there's an aside so let me just push that over there's some Latin there again I'm going the long way just to be more obvious realize in real life I would use control V to copy and paste control V to paste that is control C to copy and we got a button that we'll style later on. And class content. We're going to style that content later on as well. And let's grab some more Latin for this one. And the rest of the code should be fairly obvious. And we also have something in a block, block quote to give it a particular appearance. And again, I'm going to grab some more Latin. And paste. And finally, the last piece of content is the footer. That was it. And we don't need any more Latin, so let's quickly save and take a look at what we have. Oh, take a look at what we have so far. Image, heading, content learn more link very standard image heading content learn more link then we have something in a block quote we have a credit here and then we have a footer here all right so that's all of our content added to our document um, in the next video we'll style all of that thanks for watching